Well, at the college level, that becomes um, a whole different thing because each college, and I've, when you're talking about America, and you've got over 4,000 colleges that are available that you can apply to, um, it becomes, you know, it just depends on the college and the uh, expectations and the uh, rate of acceptance for students with particular GPAs and uh, success within their high school programs and um, their application and the quality of it and their recommendations and their essays. There's so many different factors when you're applying to college, but of course academic proficiency and development expressed through the courses that have been taken by the student and the GPA attained, um, or at least the grades attained, uh, and, the, and the teacher's remarks about the student um, are going to be the single most uh, important factor when it a student is applying, an applicant is applying to a, a particular college or university. And so that the expectation of English proficiency is, you know, might be a bit different for different schools like the University of California has a different expectation than uh, perhaps a small uh, eastern seaboard uh, liberal arts school. It might be slightly different. They're, they're going to have minimal uh, Things, and they'll state what that is, and often determined by uh, an English proficiency test, such as the TOEFL. Writing proficiency as, this is all, and math proficiency, all demonstrated through their um, courses that they've taken and the, the, uh, their transcripts, their grades, and the teacher uh, comments and recommendations. And as far as the actual GPA, I mean, there's a range that they'll accept, but you know, the more competitive the entry level uh, for that particular university, the range is gonna be uh, tighter and uh, it's gonna be higher. But the students that are not, who don't think they have a chance to get into that school probably won't apply, so all the, the students that apply to that school are gonna have everything going for them. So that it's gonna be a very competitive pool um, in general. But, you know, there are, as I said, 4,000 colleges out there and universities, so there's a wide range of uh, expectations about uh, academic success in high school as far as applicants applying to universities. Students do not have to have attended an English language high school, but they will have to uh, demonstrate proficiency in English then through the TOEFL or some kind of English language uh, proficiency test. Uh, ACT and SAT scores, uh, if they're required, and they have been in the past until the pandemic period where there were many schools that made them optional, um, there's going to be a range that they see as acceptable, although the more competitive the school, the higher the scores are gonna be on the the, the students that are applying to that school as it's self-selective, they're going to not apply if they don't think they have a shot. So the kids that are applying to the Ivy Leagues or the top schools are going to have everything, high SAT, ACT scores, as well as high GPAs. Um, particular programs favored by universities and colleges, um, well, it can't. I mean, some of them are well known, like the IB program and its dip the diploma holders are very much um, in demand these days. I, I guess is the way to put it. I mean, they're doing very well, and research shows that they're being accepted at very high rates compared to some of the other kinds of programs, like the AP. And I mean, statistics are out there, data's out there, but they do, of course, um, look favorably at college preparatory courses that the AP offers, but the IB is, uh, has been, the kids, students with IB diplomas have been accepted at very high rates at many of the competitive schools. Um, admissions people from those schools have made comments in the news and online. Um, and other programs where uh, schools that have been known to produce uh, Students that are very much ready for competitive colleges, such as the 
elite boarding schools or um, school districts with great success rate at placing their students in competitive colleges. The, the admissions officers know all of those things. They will be wary of students who pad their grade point averages by taking the easiest courses. So they're going to look at the course of study that the student took first and foremost. And an IB guarantees, a diploma holder has guaranteed that that student, he or she, has taken the most demanding courses possible. Uh, AP courses, those are guarantees of students that have applied themselves and have pushed themselves. So those are the things that uh, the colleges and universities are going to be looking at.